All right, well, there's only one place to go now. Since I've been everywhere else. May not. I'm reading a signal. It must be our Solarian operation team. Check out those defense towers. Drop the Mako. We'll go in hot and take them out. I'll get you in underneath their radar. We've got a clean drop, Commander. Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know the drill. Meet you at the camp once those towers are offline. Joke around. The heck are those, the crab people? Chat guy. That, but it kind of just slipped out of my. Sometimes I'm moving around. 
and it's fine, and sometimes I'm not. I thought there was at least one guy in here, right? What the heck are you shooting at right now? I'm reading that the grid is down, Commander. I'm on approach to the Solarian base now.
surprised I haven't leveled up yet. Touched down at the base, but it looks like we're grounded. The Solarian captain can explain it. Yeah, yeah. I think we're almost there, right? So what are we supposed to do now? Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirihi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. What are we supposed to do in the meantime? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are the reinforcements. What? You're all they sent? I told the Council to send a fleet. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here that is crawling with Geth and very well fortified. Is he here? Have you seen him? No, but his Geth are everywhere and we've intercepted some comms referring to Saren. This is his facility, there's no doubt about that. What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. How is that possible? Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the Genophage. What's so important about curing this Genophage? It was the solution to the Krogan problem. We introduced the Genophage to the Krogan population after the uprising, to quell their numbers. Without it, the Krogan will quickly overrun the galaxy. And these Krogan follow Saren. Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army. He'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. We are not a mistake. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. He'll be fine. I'll talk to him. I'd appreciate that, Commander. 
My men and I need to rethink our plan of attack. Can you give us some time? Go ahead, Captain. I'll come back soon. We won't be long, Commander. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. Looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. You think I should go talk to him? It wouldn't hurt. Well, it might, actually. Just do it carefully. Rex doesn't worry me. He'll fall in line. If you say so. But I'm gonna keep my eye on him, if it's all the same to you. I don't like the way Rex is behaving. He's really on edge. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the genophage, we can't destroy it. I understand you're upset, but we both know Saren's the enemy here. He's the one you should be angry with. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. This isn't a cure, it's a weapon, and if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. I've been loyal to you so far. Hell, you did more for me than my family ever did. But if I'm going to keep following you, I need to know we're doing it for the right reasons. Rex, these Krogan are not your people. They're slaves of Saren, tools. Is that what you want for them? No, we were tools for the Council once. To thank us for wiping out the Rachni, they neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. All right, Shepard. You've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. Your ability to calm the Krogan is impressive. Thank God. <laughs> Don't go here too early, because uh, <laughs> that won't happen again. <laughs> Normally I wouldn't think much of Solarians in a firefight, but these soldiers seem well trained. The upcoming battle frightens me, but I know Saren must be stopped. Greetings, human. I am Commander Rentola. I can provide you with supplies for the upcoming mission. For anything else, I suggest you speak with Captain Kirahi. Let me see what you have. What little there is. Yeah, he don't have much, I'm not gonna lie. We're bringing the Krogan with us. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Where do we take the nuke? And how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. It does sound a bit risky. Is there no other way? No, but I think we can work around that. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. It's a good idea, but your people are gonna get slaughtered. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. 
I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me, to help coordinate the teams. You expect me to commit one of my people to your command? We are all soldiers by trade. If your people are not prepared to face such a risk, would you really want them by your side? He's right, Commander. We can't do this without both teams at their best. I volunteer. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Salarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? Who would be better suited to the mission? Either of these two will do, Commander. Both seem willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary, though if we are lucky, such sacrifices won't be required. Williams, you'll accompany the captain. No heroics, understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? The Normandy's picking me up. How will your teams escape the blast? We will engage the Geth as long as possible. Once the bomb is in place, we will fall back to try and escape the blast radius. If we move quickly, we should be able to escape with acceptable casualties. If not, then our memories will live on as martyrs to a greater cause. You talk like this is a suicide mission. I won't lie to you, Commander. There is a chance none of us will survive this assault, even your team. But we do what is necessary. Shadow seems clear enough. What would the other teams be called? Eigor, Manavai, and Jeeto. They were the initial settlements on our first three colony worlds. They are at the heart of Salarian territory to this day. These names will remind my men what they are fighting for. They must have a personal stake in the fight if we are to have any chance of success. Let's do this. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything stupid while I'm gone, LT. You too, Commander. We'll be fine. You'll see. Yeah, I just... Good luck. Is there something you want to say, Chief? I, I don't know. It's just weird. Going under someone else's command. I've got used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry. We'll see you on the other side. I know. I... It's been an honor serving with you, Commander. It doesn't matter if we're not in the same unit. We are still a team. Watch each other's backs, keep your eyes open, and fight like I know you can. We'll all come out of this in one piece. You bet, Commander. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends. But the records are sealed. Glory in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden facts. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Staren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. Com check. Do you read me, Commander? Loud and clear. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. Shadow is on the ground. Repeat, Shadow is on the ground. Your team. Manavai, Time to get some attention. Coordinated crossfire. Check for long-range turrets up to the F target.
glad I have these guys with me. <laughs> My god, they took care of them like they're nothing. Do I go through here? Something scrambled, they're targeting. We've got a shot. Chief Williams, take the heat off Manavai. They're dead right now, guy. They're calling sat strikes. Dieto, watch for comm stations. Williams, can you see anything? Exclamation mark here.
what's the other way then? Can I go the other way? inside. someone out there? Imness of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, captured during recon. I assume the fleet was called in to destroy the base? The transmission wasn't clear. The fleet's not coming. I see. Then you must be the infiltration team. I know the captain. He will want this facility destroyed. My team was altered, indoctrinated. He knew about the breeding grounds. But the indoctrination is a greater threat. And far more horrible. I watched good people reduced to mindless husks. There isn't anything left. Others died during the experiments. I envied them. Do you know anything about the experiments they were conducting? They were studying indoctrination. Symptoms. Progress. Saren uses it to control his people, but I don't think he fully understands it. I don't know much else. I, I just saw what it did to the others. It turned them into empty husks. I can't end up like that. Please, let me out. I'm opening your cell, but then you're on your own. Don't look back and hope to outrun the blast, hmm? A better chance than I had before you showed up. Thank you, human. And good luck. You'll need it. There's nothing left of them. Ah, oh, this is no way to treat a prisoner. Kill them, sure. Leave them like this. Open the doors. Give them a chance to outrun the blast. Sure. We should release them as they stay Let them out. They won't hurt us. Yes, Commander.
What do you want? I told you everything. I... Who are you? Alliance, right? I knew someone would come. It tried to break me, but it couldn't. I shut it out. Slow down. I need to know where you came from. Private Maino Zavat of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment, SDG. Captured while on reconnaissance six days ago. Glad to answer, man. Never any questions from these bastards. Just whispers and poking and cutting. I'd say anything to get out and get some payback. That's not too much to ask, is it? A little payback? What did they do to you, soldier? Experiments. I don't know what for. The effect of incessant whispering on my shortening temper. Who knows? I just need out. Something's not right here, Shepard. If we don't let him out, he's as good as dead. We have to do something. Yes, leaving me here would be bad. Very bad. It's too small in the noise. Just don't go away. Whispering is loud, you know? I need to get out. Let me out. Set him free. He could help us. Yes, sir. You'll find I am very good at following orders. I should be. I hear them over and over. Why are they repeated when they are so simple? <laughs> simple! I just want to get out of here before it's too late. Let's hear it. Who are you and what do you want? Granith the Noctis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain too. I thought this was a breeding facility. Not this level. We're studying Sovereign's effect on organic minds. At least that's what I assume. Saren kept us in the dark as much as possible. You helped him, and you didn't even know why? I didn't have the option of negotiating. This position is a little more permanent than I had expected. But I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? What were you studying here? It's that ship, Sovereign. It emits some kind of signal. Undetectable, but it's there. I've seen the effects. Saren uses it to influence his followers. To control them. It's called indoctrination. Direct exposure to the signal turns you into a mindless slave, like the Solidarian test subjects. But there's collateral damage, too. 
What do you mean by collateral damage? Sovereign's signal is too strong. Spend too much time near the ship and you feel it, like a tingle at the back of the skull. It's like a whisper you can't quite hear. You're compelled to do things, but you don't know why. You just obey. Eventually, you just stop thinking for yourself. It happens to everyone at the facility. My first test subject was the man I replaced. Now I just want to get out of here before it happens to me. Why is Saren researching this? Isn't he the one controlling it? The signal comes from the ship. It makes us obey Saren, but I don't think he controls it. Not exactly. I think... He's scared it might be affecting him. Indoctrination is subtle. By the time the effects become noticeable, it's usually too late. Tell me more about this signal. Signal's not exactly the right word. There is some kind of energy field emanating from the ship. It changes thought patterns. Over time, days, maybe a week, it weakens your will. You become easier to manipulate and control, but it's a degenerative condition. There's a balance between control and usefulness. The less freedom the subject maintains, the less capable it becomes. I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you wanna make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't. But I'll never... Ah! You enjoyed that.